In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today the Church remembers the various saints and martyrs of the era of the Reformation, some 150 years when churches changed, battles were fought, people were persecuted for their faith, people on all sides. The Church of England, in its wisdom, has decided that this should be a commemoration of all who suffered because of their conscience in that time. If we think that that is 350 years ago, we can understand the wisdom of remembering and honouring the conscientious decisions of all and not fighting the battles of the past. Today's collect prayer is a reminder that we are called into a greater unity, the unity of Christ. Today's scripture readings are a reminder that we are called to a unity which we maybe cannot fully conceive. That unity which Peter saw a slight vision of when he was moved away from his Jewish training, his Jewish background, to realise that the gospel was to be preached not only to the Jews but to all. That vision which Jesus offers when he says that he will be a shepherd for all. There will be one flock and one shepherd. Let us pray for ourselves and for each other. Let us pray for all who claim the name of Christian today, that we may recognise we are called to be one in him and only in him. And let us ask for the courage to have the conscience to speak truth, his truth, to each other, which will be the first stage of being one in him. For the times when we in our thoughts and actions have caused division, for the times when we have been divided from God and from each other, and even divided within ourselves, and for all our sins, let us ask God's forgiveness. In baptism we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him, as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray.
merciful God, who when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land who witnessed to their faith with courage and constancy. Give to your church that peace which is your will, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven and share together in the vision of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticised him, saying, Why did you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? Then Peter began to explain it to them, step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles and birds of the air. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was pulled up again to heaven. At that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angels standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it has upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, Then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is a thirst for God, the living God. My soul is a thirst for God, the living God. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. My soul is a thirst for God, the living God. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? My soul is a thirst for God, the living God. O oh, send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. My soul is a thirst for God, the living God, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the lyre I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. My soul is a thirst for God, the living God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, 
I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. We are asked to pray today for, in the Diocese of Derby, for the local ecumenical project in Lounsley Green, for the Church of the Ascension and the Methodist community there. We pray for them especially as they are in vacancy and pray for a wise and pastorally effective appointment there. In the Anglican Communion Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Dioceses of Mukono in the Anglican Church of Uganda and of Yewa and Ikara in the Anglican Church of Nigeria. As we remember those who died for their faith and those who lived and spoke for their faith at the time of the Reformation, we pray for the leaders of post-Reformation churches, for the moderators of the various free churches, for the archbishops of the Church of England and the Church in Wales and the Episcopal Church of Scotland, for the primus there. We pray too for Pope Francis, For Archbishop Vincent and for the Archbishops of the Roman Catholic Church in England and Wales and for all who carry the name of Christian and who are still sadly divided. We pray that in our common service and also in our common faith we may be part of that one flock which has the one shepherd Christ. We pray for those who suffer at this time, especially for those who are suffering from fear, for those who have coronavirus, for those who are mourning the death of those some, some that they have loved. We pray for the sick, remembering by name Jane Hoskin, Charlie's Kane, John Robinson, Paul Taylor, Sheila Laverick, Carol Kingham, Joan Lydgate, Jane Stretton, Jilly Jones, Kenneth Hughes, Teddy, June Franklin, John Herring, Michael Catton, Patricia Mitchell, Sue Hastings, Jean Maiden, Jane Jackson, David Staves, Ian McKenzie, Laura, Jean Knox and Robin Glasson. And as we pray for those who have gone before us in faith, we pray for all who have given their lives in the name of their faith. We pray too for those who have died in this community and elsewhere, 
as a result of coronavirus. We name those people who are recently departed and whose relatives have asked for our prayers. We pray for Eileen Marriott, Shirley Palmer, Anthony Justin Stretton and Carol Denman. And we also remember Esme Rhoda Crane, whose year's mind occurs today and for whom this Mass is being offered. That our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection, we pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That through us God may provide for those who lack food, work or shelter. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That by God's power, war and famine may cease through all the world. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That the light of God's presence may be revealed to the sick, the weak and the dying, to comfort and strengthen them. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That according to God's promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised on the last day. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That the fire of God's Holy Spirit may come upon God's people, so that we may bear faithful witness to the resurrection of Christ. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia! The peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed 
is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy, indeed the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup. So that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all who in this land have lived and died for their faith and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Following the teaching of the One Shepherd, with Christians in every age and everywhere, we pray to God, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. For we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us, therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia.
Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God has claimed us as his own. He has brought us out of darkness. He has made us light to the world. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And the blessing and the love of the Lord the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen.